Hey guys, Shaburn 1000 here. Just quick upload. I've got the valves adjusted on this, and I wanted to tell you why I was having so much problems with it in just a second. Let's start it up. These are not solid lifters. I adjusted these before and I got to thinking about that and I was like, you know, I don't remember adjusting these at 20 thousandths. So, cause this is a feeler gauge I use now. When I adjusted them the other day at 20 thousandths and it rattled, I had to I had to file my, this is the same, this is the same feeler gauge I used and I had to file that down to get in between here. Now, I was like, I couldn't have used that because it wouldn't have worked. And that's the only one I've got that'll work for that, which still wouldn't have, so I had to file that down. But so and i got to pushing on them and a couple of them would push down back here would push down that was telling me these were hydraulic lifters so i said what the heck i'm just going to adjust them like i would a, hyd a regular hydraulic lifter and i did uh now how I, how i do it is uh no matter what okay you don't you don't have to start at number one and go over to the other side you don't have to do that because and i'll tell you why the other side was already adjusted i never had to adjust them so what i do this one's got poly locks but i loosen them all up and then i just went through and i just snugged them up just until there wasn't any movement up and down on that push rod but i could still turn it between my finger i did that on all of them no certain order i just started at the back and went forward so i started at seven went to five three and one now uh then i turned the engine over 90 degrees about you can do 20 you can do 30 it doesn't matter and i checked them again whoop one was loose just snug it up just till you know there's no up and down movement and i did that you know a couple revolutions you know four or five times and then when i'm pretty sure <laughs> you want to be positive but when you're you know when you're sure you got them all then you just start at one and you go a half to three quarters of a turn that's it tighten your poly locks and go if you if you just got regular nuts on there you don't have to tighten anything put it back together and it'll run fine so yeah but anyway, I got a question for you. Now what I want to do, Monkey's kind of worried about it, but what I want to do, I think what this car would look good with, other than the hood down on it, <laughs> I think I should black these windows out. I think that white car would look good with the windows blacked out and halfway down the windshield, about right to here. She's like, well, what if I get a ticket? Well, 99% of the time she's going to drive this car, that top's going to be down. So the windows are going to be down. So anyway, I got to get this all back together. I'm going to change the alternator. I've got another alternator. I don't know if it's any good, but uh, so, yeah. That's that. I had to take the belt off anyway because I had to take this pulley off this smog pump because of one bolt back here, right there. It just comes in about an eighth of an inch. It's the original bolt, but it comes in about an eighth, eighth of an inch and just enough to where you can't get the valve cover off. So anyway, this thing's ready to rock and roll again. Now I'm going to go through and make sure all my poly locks are locked because I think... I think really the issue was just the one, that one there was loose. The uh, intake on number seven cylinder was loose. 
I, I probably could have just got by with adjusting that, but I went ahead and did them all. So anyway, yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. Should I black that out? I think that car would look good. Blacked out. Now stay tuned. I'm going to probably work on it this evening. I'm going to do a tribute to Joe. That that was her dad's name. To Joe and his Corvette. And it's just going to be a montage. It's going to be um, all the pictures he's taken of this car. He's got some pictures of it with the supercharger on it and when it was all cleaned up and looking good. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, I got to go and get warmed up. I can only work about five minutes at a time. It's like 106 real feel again. It's like 96 out. So, yeah, I'm going to get this all buttoned back up. Like I said, I'm going to run them again. Make sure them are all tight the way they should be so we don't have any problems later. Um, it sounded pretty good, so it should be all right. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. I'm out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.